In this two-part video series, we'll show you how to use CellSense software's deep learning technology for label-free nucleus detection. Rather than using fluorescence images to detect and count nuclei, deep learning technology can count the nuclei using simple transmitted images with no staining, eliminating the phototoxicity caused by fluorescence excitation. Deep learning uses a neural network that's trained by an operator who inputs images with the nuclei already identified. When this training is complete, the system will be able to recognize nuclei on its own. In this video, we'll show you how to prepare your training data. The remaining steps in label-free nucleus detection are covered in the second video. To begin, go to CellSense Software's Count and Measure tab. Open a training image located in the CellSense installer. To access it, go to CellSense, Example Images, Deep Learning, Training Images. Open the first image. These fluorescence training images nuclei have been stained with DAPI. The bright field and phase contrast channels are shown. Use the DAPI channel to create binary training data in the software's count and measure module. Since we have to do this for multiple images, record it as a macro. To do this, open the Macro Manager tool window on the menu bar. Click Create Macro and name it to create the training label. Then select the DAPI channel from Dimension Selector. Select Automatic Threshold to automatically apply an intensity threshold on the DAPI channel to detect nuclei. Then click DAPI channel. Double click on the phase name to modify it. Later, we'll use this as the name of the training label. Select the color from the drop down. Use a different color from the DAPI channel and other phases. We chose red. Then click Count and Measure. The nuclei have been detected in red. If two nuclei are located close together, they are sometimes detected as a single nucleus. When this happens, you can tell the system to automatically split these into two objects. Click Select All Detected Objects and then click Auto Split Selected Objects. Confirm that the objects have been split properly, and then stop recording the macro. Now, let's apply the macro we recorded to multiple images. Close the image you have open. Activate Toggle Batch Mode, and then click Run Macro. We're going to use images in the installer guide for this example. To define these input images, select Documents in File System and select the 10 training images. Then click Next. Choose the location where you want to save the files. Here, we rename the batch Training Label. The training data must be in VSI format. Normally, we recommend you select Close Documents in case the batch macro was applied to a large number of images. Since we are only using 10 images in this example, we'll leave it unselected. Run the batch macro to create training labels for the 10 images. 
check to confirm that the process was successful for all 10 images and that the data was saved in .vsi format. It's good practice to quickly verify the quality of the nucleus identification and splitting. If an object is not properly split, please do so manually. Don't forget to save the image if you modify it. Your training data is now ready. Check out part two of this video series where we'll show you how to use this data set. If you'd like more information about Olympus deep learning technology, visit olympus-lifescience.com.